attack. Well, soldiers have been ordered to stay put in Mozambique to fight the terrorists in the Cabo Delgado province. Dozens were killed, including a South African man, when the insurgents hit the town of Palma in March. Then a regional deployment was sent by countries as part of the South African Development Community in mid-July. This was meant to come to an end this month. But after SADC leaders met in Pretoria this week, the mission has been extended for now. Troops have been reported to be rooting out the armed assailants as they comb through thick forests along Mozambique's coastline. Well, joining us now is Professor Adriano Novunga, who's with the Mozambican Center for Democracy and Development. He's been following the conflict from Maputo. Prof, thank you so much for joining us. Is the extension of troops a good idea and is it really necessary? Thank you uh, and good morning. Uh, indeed, um, the decision um, by the uh, Troika Summit to extend uh, the SADC mission in Mozambique, uh, SAMIM, um, it is an expected but good decision. Um, it is good decision um, in the sense that um, uh, it gives Mozambique the necessary capacity uh, to continue this pace of, um, um, of military stabilization uh, in northern Mozambique. Uh, but also, uh, Samim, um, the SADC mission, uh, has been uh, working in a, a, a more transparent manner. Um, um, in terms uh, of uh, its operations, uh, the areas, uh, including its casualties. So we see the extension of SAMIM um, um, as a good move. Uh, it, would be, it would be good if uh, SAMIM would get more capacity, including financial uh, from multilateral uh, agencies, to continue uh, into a more mid to longer term, um, because in our view, um, the SADC mission being multilateral uh, is important, uh, not only in terms of supporting Mozambique to stabilize militarily, uh, but it's also important in terms of uh, the um, military accountability um, in the overall the other forces that are in the region, but also uh, um, the private military groups that are active uh, in the area. So indeed, this is a good move. South Africa has the largest deployment of 1,500 troops approximately. What has the deployment done so far? Have any insurgents been caught? Uh, what's the intelligence in Mozambique? Yes. Um, well, uh, if you look back uh, at where we were um, uh, two months ago uh, uh, and compare to where we are today, you clearly see that uh, northern Cabo Delgado is um, uh, it's a, a stabilized uh, region in military terms, and that uh, thanks also to uh, the SADC um, mission uh, to Mozambique. Um, there have been uh, cases where... Uh, the SADC mission has um, caught uh, some um, uh, influential uh, violent extremist uh, personnel and they've been um, um, uh, shown to, uh, uh, to the media. And some of their bases, they have been dismantled um, uh, in the interlands uh, of Cabo Delgado. And this is indeed uh, a very good move. And um, SADC, it seems also to have some sort of um, uh, intelligence, which is important uh, in, in fighting uh, um, uh, missions like these ones, uh, which is the, uh, the, the one that Mozambique is faced with in northern Cabo Delgado. All right, thank you so much. That's uh, Professor uh, Adriano Novunga there, who's with the Mozambican Center for Democracy. Thank you so much for your time. We're going to